Good morning, welcome back to the Tomarosa. It is time for morning chores. Yesterday was our first day that we went to once a day milking. So on uh, most dairy farms you milk twice a day. On some really large farms they milk three times a day. I can't even imagine that. But we were milking twice a day. Once you get later in their lactation and depending on you know your labor and what you want to do, a lot of smaller farms can go down to once a day milking. It saves obviously half your labor, half your water, half your chemicals, and you probably will see a drop of about 20% of milk production. We're going to check in on the cows and see how they did overnight. I think they were a little confused last night because we gave them hay and we hadn't milked them yet. We'll see how they handled that. I can see that I did not lock the chickens up last night, so first we're going to go check on that situation. And it is a wet, kind of rainy day outside. Got some in the nest boxes. Well, they all look okay. With the chicken crisis adverted, here are the calves and the cows. Of course, with our galvanized metal roofing, it always sounds like there's like a huge rainstorm outside, even if it's just barely dripping. You may ask yourself, I see three cows. Where is number four? And I'm thinking the same thing. Buttercup does like to go out and stand in the rain. And there she is. Buttercup, what are you doing? Yeah, you're standing out there in the rain. Here's our milking parlor, ready to go. Let's peek in on the milk house and see what Stacy's doing. It's uh, first morning since we went to once a day milking, so we skipped last night's milking. I was like a frantic parent sending their kid off to school, being all worried about them. Had to go check on them like three times last night. Of course, they were doing fine. So we'll milk them this morning and we'll see how they do. And uh, we'll just keep going with that. Uh, before we started uh, this, for the last few days, we have been trying to give them a little bit of a boost because. Uh, once a day milking, when you switch over, you know, we've read that typically you can expect a little bit of a bump in somatic cell count, so we've been giving them some aloe pellets uh, just to kind of uh, give them a little boost before we did this big change on them, and then uh, otherwise we'll see how much milk we get this morning. Um, also, because of the uh, somatic cell count, over the next few days, um, I think I'll be doing a little bit of dynamite on uh, all the cow's udders as well just to increase the blood flow to the area. Everything's sanitized, so now I just need to uh, get it set up and uh, get milking. My ankle is feeling uh, much better. Still a little bit of swelling, still a little bit of stiff, but I can get around pretty good on it, so it's getting better. Just try not to damage it again while it's healing. Good morning, Carnation. definitely fuller than she normally is and we expect that for a couple of days
been about 15, 20 minutes. We've been watching Buttercup. Her eyes do appear to be getting better. And she's obviously very interested in food because the hay is behind me and that's what she's looking at intently. There's a chicken in the hay feeder. You guys gonna let that chicken stay in there? After we let Buttercup out here from milking, uh, it did look like her allergic reaction was getting better, which made us feel happy. We did give her uh, another handful of aloe pellets mixed in with a handful of humates just to boost her system and hopefully help if there was some type of toxin or something that she got into. It's time for evening chores. It rained all day. Buttercup, why do you like to stand out in the rain? So let's look at her and see how she's doing. Her eyes are definitely less swollen. So that's good. No other indication of distress. So we'll just go ahead and clean up bedding, give them some food for the night. So tonight is night two of once a day milking. Still feel odd not milking the cows tonight. I know, we came out here, what, like 20 minutes ago? And now chores are done. So weird. <laughs> but it's good. It'll also help, you know, in a couple weeks when we decide to dry off the cows in mid February. It just makes the transition a little easier on them as well. What else have we been up to? Well, we have uh, shifted some paddocks for the cows and the calves. So they always have access full time outdoors, except they like being in the barn when it's cold and wet. Like it is right now. The calves, however, were super excited to get some new ground. Now just imagine what it's going to be like when we let them out on green grass in the springtime because they don't know it's coming back. We're all looking forward to it. That's what we've been up to. We switched to once a day milking. We've done some basic chores. Uh, we had a little thing with Buttercup. If any of you have had any type of these allergic reactions in your cows, go ahead and leave us some comments of your thoughts and tips and tricks. Thanks for joining us here on the Tom Morosa. As always, we love having you on our journey, and we hope you're having a really good new year, and we'll see you next time.